Many consider the F-22 Raptor to be the most advanced fighter ever created and the embodiment of air superiority. This is great news for Lockheed Martin, as their task was to create a fighter with capabilities never seen before. No other fighter combines the level of stealth, speed, maneuverability, armament, and avionics of the Raptor. Lockheed Martin designed the F-22 Raptor exclusively for use in the U.S. The Obey Amendment to the 1998 Department of Defense Appropriations Act prohibits the sale of the F-22 to foreign governments. Unlike the F-22, aircraft like the F-35 Lightning II were intended for international sales to U.S. allies to reduce costs. One of the reasons for the ban on the sale of the F-22 abroad was concerns about technology leakage into the wrong hands. Despite the F-22 Raptor's ability to carry a multitude of weapons, the variety of compatible weapons is limited. The size and type of weaponry attached to the aircraft must be precise. As such, the F-22 is limited to short-range AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles and medium-range AIM-120 AMRAM for air-to-air -air combat and JDAM bombs for air-to-ground combat. Unlike the F-15 and F-16, the F-22 Raptor carries its weapons internally. It holds all its weaponry inside the fuselage. The aircraft has three compartments. The main compartment can support six AIM-120 AMRAM missiles, or two JDAM bombs for ground attacks. The other two compartments accommodate two AM-9 Sidewinder missiles. There is also a 20mm M61A2 rotary cannon, hidden behind a stealth door. The purpose of the internal design is to reduce visibility, but if stealth is not a necessity, the F-22 is more than capable of carrying weapons and fuel tanks under its wings externally. Major General Richard B.H. Lewis said, When you are outnumbered on the battlefield, the F-22 helps the F-18 and F-15 improve their characteristics. This gives them more situational awareness and allows them to get their costs, because you can't destroy all these planes with just the onboard weapons of the F-22. It uses the armament of the F-15 and F-18. This has been very successful in its ability to get everyone to integrate. The F-22 also often accompanies the F-35, which is optimized for air-to-ground combat, while the F-22 is designed for deep penetration and air combat. The first flight of the F-22 took place in 1997, and it was commissioned as the F-22A in 2005. Since the F-22 was put into service, it has been defined as a critically important part of air combat capabilities and has since dominated the skies. Despite all this, the F-22 development team received the Collier Award in 2006, which is the most prestigious award in American aviation. According to the U.S. Air Force website, a single unit of the F-22 Raptor costs about $143 million. This does not include research and development costs, which would bring the cost of the F-22 to $334 million. Furthermore, by adding the life cycle cost, which includes fuel, parts, and maintenance, the Government Accountability Office estimates that the cost of a single F-22 is about a colossal $678 million. Producing the F-22 Raptor is not only expensive, it's also costly to fly. In 2013, Time Magazine reported that the F-22A costs $68,362 per flight hour. The hefty price tag includes ownership costs, such as aircraft modifications. For instance, in 2014, the F-22 fleet required about 40 hours of maintenance for every flight hour. The F-22A was built to last 8,000 flight hours, but after many years of use, the U.S. Air Force USAF, believes that an unmodified aircraft can serve the airframe 12,000 hours. Possibly the F-22 may even be able to achieve 15,000 hours. For comparison, the lifespan of the airframes of aircraft like the F-4 Phantom II is just 3,500 hours. The national interest assumes that the current F-22S will remain combat ready until 2060. The F-22 Raptor is equipped with two Pratt and Whitney F-119 PW100 turbofan engines. The engines generate a thrust of 35,000 pounds. For comparison, the F-15 engine can only generate 25,000 pounds of thrust. The engines, together with the F-22's design, allow the Raptor to fly at supersonic speeds with less fuel. The Raptor has supercruise capability, meaning it can reach supersonic speeds without using the afterburner, which most aircraft use to achieve this goal. 
Unlike most aircraft, which have nozzles directed straight from the engine, the F-22 Raptor is equipped with a vector nozzle that allows the pilot to move it up and down 20 degrees. The gas exiting the vector nozzle helps push the aircraft's nose up or down, increasing the roll rate of the aircraft by 50%. Since the thrust vector control is built into the F-22's flight control system, the pilot can control it automatically. The nozzle will move in the correct direction when the pilot turns the aircraft, as well as the elevators, rudder, and ailerons. As a result, the F-22 has higher maneuverability than other fighters. In 1985, the U.S. Air Force originally planned to order 750 fifth-generation fighters with production beginning in 1994. However, the major aircraft review of 1990 reduced this number to 648 aircraft. The number of what are now called F-22 Raptors was further cut to 339 in 1997, then again in 2003 to 277. By 2004, the Department of Defense reduced the number of units to 183 aircraft. In 2008, Congress passed a defense appropriations bill that increased F-22 production to 187. Currently, there are a total of 195 F-22S with 187 operational units and eight test versions. The F-22 encountered a serious software problem during its first overseas flight. In February 2007, 12 F-22 Raptors from the 27th Fighter Squadron were flying from Hickam Air Force Base in Hawaii to Kadena Air Base in Okinawa, Japan. This flight marked the aircraft's first trip abroad. En route, some F-22S encountered a software issue. The error affected the aircraft's navigation system when crossing the international dateline. Under clear skies, the Raptors returned to Hawaii for repair. The journey was delayed by two days. In 2012, the U.S. Air Force held a summit in Ohio to discuss one of the most serious problems plaguing F-22 pilots, dizziness from oxygen starvation. The symptoms are often associated with hypoxia, where the brain lacks oxygen. Pilots in such conditions create problems as this can lead to faulty judgments and tactical decisions. One such example is a fatal plane crash in Alaska in 2011. By 2012, 25 aviators reported symptoms of hypoxia and oxygen shortage. The Navy and Air Force state that the breathing of pilots in some aircraft is affected by uncontrolled increases in cabin pressure. In early June 2006, 12 F-22 Raptors from the 94th Fighter Squadron in Alaska participated in simulated combat exercises during the Northern Edge exercise. The aircraft proved its potential against 40 enemy aircraft, achieving a kill ratio of 108 to 0. Over two weeks, the Blue Force led by F-22 destroyed a total of 241 aircraft in air-to-air -air combat. The opponent lost only two aircraft. These were not F-22S. F-22 Raptors are equipped with modern electronics and devices for detecting and combating enemies. In other aircraft, these two systems are typically separated in the cockpit. However, for the F-22, the system was designed so that a single crew member could manage everything, something originally only possible in two-seat aircraft, like the F-15 Strike Eagle. The F-22's onboard electronic equipment is the first of its kind to include electronic warfare systems, radar and weapon control combined into a common flight system. The F-22 is equipped with an AN-APG-77 radar for stealth provision. The AN-APG-77 radar is a critical component of the F-22 Raptor's stealthiness. The radar was designed for strike operations and air dominance. It includes features such as all-weather capability, active aperture, and an active electronically scanned array, ASA, made up of 2,000 transmitter slash receiver modules. The ASA operates at a high frequency, making it harder for enemies to detect the aircraft. The ASA also has a small effective area of reflection and target detection. The F-22 Raptor has a giant twin tail vertical stabilizer. Unlike other fighters such as the F-15, the twin tail fins are angled to match the shape of the aircraft. The aim is to deflect radar. The fins even hide internal antennas to further conceal the F-22. On the other hand, horizontal stabilizers at the rear of the aircraft reduce detection from the F-22's thermal and infrared radiation by shielding the heat from the engine's exhaust gases. There were variations and derivatives planned for the F-22 Raptor that never came to fruition. For instance, the F-22B was designed as a two-seater. 
it was discarded in 1996 to save on development costs. Another variant was the Naval F-22, the improved tactical fighter of the U.S. Navy, NATF, intended to replace the F-14 with a variable sweep wing F-22. In 1993, the program was definitively shut down. Regarding derivatives, the FB-22 and X-44 Manta were proposed. The FB-22 was planned as a supersonic medium-range stealth bomber, while the X-44 featured thrust vector control. It appears that the FB-22 was cancelled in 2006, and the X-44 Manta program was terminated in 2000. Currently, the U.S. Air Force, USAF, is working on a sixth-generation fighter to replace the F-22 Raptor. It's anticipated that it will be operational in the 2030S. As of 2023, the project is known as Penetrating Counter Air, PCA, with the mission of maintaining America's air superiority. The new jet aircraft will have a more efficient engine, increasing its flight range. It may also do away with vertical tail fins to improve stealthiness. According to estimates by the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office, CBO, the PCA could cost up to $300 million per unit. Please subscribe to our channel and see you soon.